So first question is, we call it SSI, surgical side infections. What is that and why is it such a big problem? Well, it is, as you say, Joe, a very big problem. In fact, I think by the latest count, billions of dollars are spent every year in healthcare for taking care of what you described as a surgical site infection. And a surgical site infection can simply be thought of is that after the wound is closed and the dressings are placed on, sometime after that, whether it's the next day or a week later or a year later, the wound can start to fall apart, get red, and oftentimes filled with infectious material and pus, and that is a surgical site infection. In the famous words of my mentor during residency, Sergey Nekrish, he used to always say that an SSI is a never event, even though it does happen sometimes. Like the literature says approximately 1% of the time, but in reality, in practice, I would say it's less common than that, less than 1%, but this guy that I worked with had a zero tolerance for SSI. And if there ever was an SSI, it was this massive investigation to try to figure out who was responsible, number one, but also if no one was, was responsible, then why did it happen? So we had to identify like a root cause analysis. Yep. Infection nowadays from a catheter is now considered a never event, which means that the hospital is not paid for anything related to that, so to speak. There is a lot of talk now that a post-operative surgical side infection may very well soon become a never event in the eyes of the payers and the administration.